The Italian army was the first country in NATO to understand the potential of deploying a fleet of 8x8 wheeled armoured fighting vehicles. The first vehicles were developed by a consortium, which consisted of Avico defence vehicles in northern Italy, in Bolzano, and the Ottomolara, which is now Leonardo Defence System, in La Spezia. And basically, Avico were responsible for the hull and Ottomolara for the weapon system. They built 400 Centauro ones for the Italian army and a batch for Spain. And Oman took delivery of nine with an earlier version of this turret armed with a 120 mm smoothbore gun. And more recently, the Jordanian army has taken delivery of 141 Centauros from the Italian army, which was surplus to requirements. The long-term replacement of the Centauro one is this Centauro II, which has been developed specifically to meet the operational requirements of the Italian army. It's completed its trials, and so far there was one prototype, and currently under negotiation is a contract for an initial pre-production batch of 11 vehicles, with the total requirement for the Italian army being 74 plus 74. And when you compare this vehicle with the earlier vehicle, in fact, it's a step change in capability. It's got better protection, it's got more mo better mobility, and most of all, it's got a brand new turret armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun. At the present, it's got a manually loaded gun, but the long-term aim is to have a fully automatic loader, which will enable the uh, turret crew to be reduced to just the commander and the gunner. As with the earlier generation, it has a computerised fire control system, but this one, again, is, is much better, with the commander and gunner both having advanced sighting systems, with the commander having a panoramic sight as well. There's a 7.62 mounted coaxial machine gun, and on the roof, if you notice there, is a remote weapon station armed with a 50 cal machine gun, and on the other side can be mounted a pintle mounted machine gun for local protection, plus, of course, smoke grenade launchers. Um, in the future, it will probably have some elements of a, a hard kill defensive aid system, but it also will be fitted with de electronic devices to counter improvised explosive devices, which in the past made many vehicles highly vulnerable. To work with this vehicle, the consortium has developed the Frecker Infantry Fighting Vehicle, and that has also now been deployed with the Italian Army with a whole family of variants. As a private venture, Vico Defence Vehicles have done an amphibious version, and that is one of the two contenders to meet the Italian Army requirement for an amphibious vehicle with a decision announced in the very near future.